Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to introduce you to something called Biba Connections. Uh, it's quite likely uh, maybe you already heard this piece of terminology, but let me explain to you what this is all about. So here's the idea. Um, let's say you, uh, as an organization, you developed a company internet and obviously in SharePoint. So something similar to what you see on the screen. So you might have a home site and you know various other sites and resources are uh, all connected uh, to this uh, main uh, internet site. At the same time, you probably um, utilize Teams, right? I'm sure your organization uh, utilizes Teams and you know, essentially your employees collaborate in uh, various uh, Microsoft Teams. Uh, but let's say I'm in Teams all day long, you know, chatting with my colleagues and working on documents and scheduling meetings, and all of a sudden I need to uh, essentially access, you know, something on the internet, maybe an HR policy or handbook and or so on. Well, in this case, uh, usually, right, I just I need to open up another browser and navigate uh, to the company portal. Well, luckily, we have something called Viva Connections, and essentially what it is, uh, it's a button uh, that is installed in the, inside of Microsoft Teams. And with the click of a button, it opens up an internet right inside of Microsoft Teams. Right? So this way, um, if, again, the employees are collaborating in Teams and chatting and collaborating um, with um, their colleagues, just with the click of a button, uh, they can access the internet and various resources. They don't even need to remember the URL or open uh, a, a new browser to access the internet. And essentially, it's done for convenience, right? And uh, obviously, this uh, might increase productivity within your organization as well. Uh, now, um, I'm not going to describe how to set up Viva Connections. There are actually uh, quite a few steps involved, and this has to be done by uh, the um, you know, the, the admins, obviously, uh, there is a bit of configuration that needs to occur on the SharePoint side of things. You need to register your site as a home site. You need to configure SharePoint app bar. There, is, uh, there are also a few steps that need to be performed in, uh, my, in Microsoft Teams admin center as well. Uh, however, once um, it's all set and done, essentially, this is what you get. Uh, you get... Um, uh, the internet right inside of Teams, uh, and uh, definitely very, very, very uh, you know, popular option uh, among um, um, you know many users. Uh, there are other things that can be done uh, in here, like uh, configuring you know the dashboard, the personalized dashboard for the users, um, promotion of news and announcements, and so on. And uh, this is something I will probably describe on in some other videos. But today, I just wanted uh, to introduce you to. Uh, Viva Connections. So that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, uh, and uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.